Overstimulation in the environment disorganizes and hampers sensory integration in preterm and sick infants. Quiet time is needed for infants and has to be provided by the medical and the nursing staff. Caregiving activities should be suspended for an hour or two so that the infants can sleep without being disturbed. In this video, we shall learn how simple modifications in the NICU environment supports growth and development of preterm and sick infants. The space between the two bassinets should be enough to accommodate the family as well as the healthcare professionals. Exposure to visual stimulation should be minimum for infants who are extremely preterm and extremely low birth weight. Lights should be dimmed during the day if there are no procedures. Encourage a day-night light system in the NICU to develop the circadian rhythm. The incubator should be covered with a thick cloth, especially for a very preterm infant, to prevent any direct light entering the incubator. Covering eyes of infants during phototherapy is a must. The use of focal or spotlights during procedures are preferable. The mother's face is the best visual stimulator for the preterm. The infant can focus only within 8 to 10 inches. Preterm infants should not be placed under direct light. Visual stimulation with colorful toys should not be shown to preterm infants. Auditory stimulation. Development of neonatal brain negatively influenced due to continuous exposure to noise Auditory levels of up to 45 decibels is considered as safe for the neonates. Normal conversation is roughly 45 decibels and it is important that the constant noise and sound in the NICU is kept below this. Some do's and don'ts. Do's. Doctors, nurses and family members should talk softly near the infant's bassinet or move slightly away while medical intervention is being discussed. Reduce the volume of the telephone ring and alarms. Attend to monitor alarms promptly. Close the incubator doors quietly. Mother speaking or singing quietly is the best auditory stimulation. It comforts the infant and blocks out some of the stress sounds present in the environment. Some don'ts. Healthcare professionals should not raise their voice to give instructions across the room. Chairs should not be dragged instead should be lifted and placed. Tapping or writing on the incubator should be avoided. Hanging baby charms or toys with loud nursery rhymes near the infant are detrimental to their cognitive and auditory development. Olfactory sensation. Preterm infants are very sensitive to noxious smells. Mother's smell and the smell of her breast milk are the best stimulants. These also help in reducing infant stress. Mother's milk dipped in a gauze lollipop is effective before, during and after 
medical procedures. Some do's. One should remember that mother and caregivers' overall cleanliness and hygiene is important for asepsis and optimizing olfactory development for the infant. Some don'ts. Do not open pungent smelling bottles near the infant. Mothers or healthcare providers should not wear strong smelling perfumes, oil or creams. Wearing nail polish and henna by professionals and caregivers affects sensory integration. Vestibular sensation. Some do's. Gently roll the baby from one position to another during routine posture change. While giving vestibular stimulation or pacifying the infant, the caregiver and professionals should gently move their body to and fro, front and back. During kangaroo mother care, the caregiver's rhythmic breathing and the chest movement is one of the most soothing and non-controversial vestibular stimulation that the infants can be exposed to. Some don'ts. Abrupt change in position and posture will negatively affect the infant's physiological parameters and optimal development. Tactile sensation. In the womb, the infant is not exposed to touch. All caregiving activities should be done in one stretch to reduce tactile contact with the infant. Touch should be gentle but firm. Hands should be warm while handling the infant. Some don'ts. Light, feathery touch on the infant should be avoided. Rubbing while cleaning is harmful for the infant's sensitive skin. Removal of adhesives should be done with extreme care. Professionals wearing rings, bangles, watch or threads round their wrist should not be allowed. In this video, we have learned how simple modifications in the day-to-day -day activities of the NICU can result in a healing environment which supports appropriate development of the preterm and sick baby.